Okay, so a very good evening to all the aspirants watching all this video. We have today with us Mr. Pawan from Karnataka, and he is one of the aspirants who is hardworking, very hardworking. I would say I I know him from the last year only. He was preparing for the NABAT, and finally this year he got selected, and he is working aspirant also. So it will be quite insightful how he managed his time with his work, and he will give give his insights as well. How he prepared for this examination. So, Pawan, congratulations from my side to you for qualifying and getting into the select list of Navard. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. So, we will be having a series of questions with you, Pawan. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, we will discuss all the questions with you. The first question I would like to ask you. Uh, the question is in front of you. I think the screen is visible to you. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. How you manage time being a working professional? What was your strategy for this? Sir, my strategy is uh, uh, using the morning time effectively because uh, the mind will be fresh. So I used to manage uh, three hours in the morning. So it was the quality time. Mm -hmm. The even the in the evening I just uh, uh, was uh, revising. Uh, right. So the uh, the intake input will be in the morning and the uh, evening time will be used for revision. Sir. Okay. So that means uh, two things you are doing properly. Miss, uh, was your schedule proper every morning? You are uh, covering all the things, or there was some yeah. breaks in your preparation like that? Yes, sir. Most uh, out of the seven days, six days I used to uh, be on time, mm -hmm. and uh, one day I used to take off uh, sometime. Uh, means uh, for uh, every day I I used to do three hours, mm -hmm. and uh, for Sundays I used to do two hours. Okay, so uh, that because... means. You... That means you yes. are quite consistent with your efforts for the Navar, Yes, right? sir. Yes, so, sir. So that is what I, uh, that is the message what I want to also give to all the aspirants watching this video. And I always say that consistency and persistence is the key for this examination. It is not like you have to invest a lot of eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours. It's not like that. If you're consistent with three hours, two hours, four hours, it will bring desired results. But the thing is that you need to be consistent, right, Pavan? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. So my next question to you, Pawan, regarding your preparation that aspirants want to know that sources you referred for ESI for phase one and phase two, if you can elaborate on this. Uh, sir, for statics, I used to refer the Vivek Singh's uh, book and mm -hmm. uh, used to watch uh, his videos because mm -hmm. his explanation were uh, very uh, lucid. Good. Uh, and uh, apart from that, I used to refer some editorials uh, of uh, newspapers like Hindu. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, for daily news analysis, I used to refer the Rao IS uh, DNA. Okay. So I can get a complete picture of a thing. Mm -hmm. right. So it, it helped me in uh, descriptive also, sir. Right. So I think with this also, you had a quite good knowledge for writing descriptive as well in the mains examination, right? Yes, sir. Okay, fine, fine. So a very a good uh, suggestion given by Bowen is that he used to divert some of the UPSC sources as these sources are quite identical and it helps him to uh, write yes. descriptive answers as well. Yes, sir. Okay, good, good, Bowen. So my next question would be to you is, uh, what to refer for decision making in phase one? Because this was a new paper, uh, right? And everybody was confused and what yes. suggestion would you like to give for this year uh, to the candidates due to uh, for this decision making? Sir, I did not uh, refer any specific force, uh, sources for decision making. Uh, as I was an MBA graduate and uh, I had uh, uh, studied organization behavior and uh -huh. other management subjects. Apart from that, uh, I had just glanced through uh, your Clarity Channel's uh, PDF in the last minute. So it uh, uh, helped me in brainstorming and last minute, uh, last minute refresh of uh, the things that I had studied. Mm -hmm. So there was no specific source for that. Okay. And uh, can you recall how many questions you attempted in decision making? Uh, I attempted all of the questions. All of the questions because yes. this was a nightmare for many aspirants and many yes, sir. got selected due to that. Yes, sir. I used. To, I also used to get fear because mm -hmm. I attempted all. And uh, yeah. it was not clear the questions were. Right, right, right. Uh, one more question, Pawan. Uh, yes. uh, as you were preparing for me last year, I can remember. Yes, and, sir. Uh, you were quite consistent. 
So yes, how how do you take the issue when last year you didn't got selected and you started again for the new year? So what was the source of motivation and inspiration to you? Because I I see many candidates once they fail they go in wrong direction they start thinking negative. So how to accumulate all these things in a positive way and to start yes. fresh again? Uh, what inspired you? What motivated you? Sir, uh, first of all, the motivation is uh, uh, I want I wanted to uh, prove myself uh, that I can qualify the examination. Uh, last year it was uh, uh, slightly I got missed uh, by 0.5 uh, marks. So uh, I was uh, I, I used to give up uh, on on the daily things uh, like uh, the preparation. But when I come to uh, know the topper stock of, uh, I had seen actually one topper stock of uh, Clarity Channel itself. Um, one of the lady was uh, telling that she had a UPSC background and the last minute she uh, uh, used to prepare for the NABAR and she qualified it. So I thought uh, uh, being consistent, giving one more chance, it would be okay. And um, apart from that, I had uh, also missed the SEBI final list in the intro stage. So uh, I was uh, preparing all through and Nabad was my uh, dream. Like uh, it was near to my heart as my father was a farmer. Right, right, I, right. I reside in a village. Right. Uh, so it was a, a motivation, the Nabad itself. Sir. So I think the message is clear to all the aspirants who are watching this. See, Bhavan lost by just 0 0.5 marks, right? And there was some sort of intent from inside to work for the farming community as he himself belongs to a farming family. And this yes, intent him led him to the success this time. So it, this is a very important that don't get disheartened. You are waiting list this year. Many are waiting list in Pawan this year also. Yes. And they are calling me, we will get selected or not. So like that, I'm saying that don't get disheartened. Maybe the other candidate who has who is in the 148, that selected list, he has yes, worked sir. much harder, right? So they yes, need sir. to push harder for the next year. So get into the other side of the fence, right? Sir, one advantage is that uh, if you prepare, if you maintain this consistency for next year, it will be very easy uh, very to easy. ace the exam right, in the next right, year. Right. So we just need to revise. Revise. Very good. Yes. Very good. Yes. Very good. Yes. So all my students and all those who are in the wait list don't get disheartened. See, this is a continuous process. You have to evolve yourself. Just try to look into your mistakes, what you have committed this year. Don't commit commit in the upcoming in year. And I think like Pawan, you will be also in the select list for the next year for sure. My next question would be to Pawan uh, is regarding decision making we have discussed. Yeah, this is a, uh, I think many students uh, get confused about a lot of materials and all. So yes, had you referred this compilation of Kurukshetra, Yojana and different blah, blah, many types of such reports and all? Uh, in the first attempt, I used to refer uh, these, sir. But uh, in the subsequent uh, attempt, the next attempt, this attempt, I did not uh, look at uh, those sources at all because uh, 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 keeping things simple and uh, revising a lot helps uh, to ace the examination because uh, in the Kurukshetra and uh, the Yojana, the things will get repeated. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. So right. there is no point of uh, referring again and again, again right. uh, the same kind of things. See, straightforward message given by Pawan is that it's not required because the things get repeated. Once you're reading the PIV, it's sufficient yes, because PIV things will only get uh, repeated there and it will be lengthy, elaborate, it will just kill your time and it's not necessary, right? Yes, sir. yes, yes. So just you need to refer PIV and uh, sources for one set, your different UPSC websites and all, that will suffice, I think. So there yes. is no need to refer these sources. Uh, this has been told by Pawan and this has been told by many other aspirants as well. Uh, my next question to Pawan would be, uh, sources you referred for ARD, Agriculture and Rural Development for? Uh, so, uh, main source is Clarity's uh, uh, master notes, sir. Right, right. Uh, it made uh, the uh, ARD topic very simple. Uh, earlier, used to refer bulky materials uh, like uh, some coaching material, uh, institutions materials, and uh, some standard books. Mm -hmm. I had also bought the standard book, but the mm -hmm. Clarity Shores PDF were uh, amazing. 
means um, the video you had uh, prepared for that for uh, for easy going through that uh, pdf helped a lot sir so this was the main and right. uh, i used to um, solve the mcqs of other institutions uh, also right. right good so see the message is again clear don't go into the hefty bulky uh, yes. materials related to agriculture as said by pohan and uh, other candidates as well because that's not required you are appearing for a generalist stream and for agriculture people also i will suggest that in phase one you won't be finding very too deep questions a general view is required and as already said master notes are available free of cost in the telegram channel and all the videos related to it are also available in the youtube channel free of cost so you can refer if you want those right so we'll move and, on to the, yes yes pawan uh, and for some topics uh, we we used to get interest and uh, we indulge a lot of time uh, for mm -hmm. that uh, topic Mm -hmm. But we had to avoid that, uh, such kind right. of things. Right, right. So a proper balance should be between all the topics yes, and sir. what's required, right? Uh, yes, sir. So the ultimate aim is uh, gaining the confidence to right. the exam. Right, right, right. right. And many uh, people, uh, Pawan also thinks like that. What they will be reading, that should get repeated in the examination. I think this is also a misconception. Because when yes, you sir. read the things, it, as you said, the conceptual clarity or the things should be clear to you so that with the options also you can mark the right answer, right? Yes, yes, sir. Uh, my next question to you, uh, how do you used to practice technical descriptive formats? Because this was introduced for the first time. So how do you yes, used to sir. practice the dis uh, technical descriptive? Uh, I just followed a simple uh, rules, like uh, keeping the sentences uh, short and crips first one and no grammatical errors second one third one is uh, uh, using the lucid language uh, like connecting uh, between the sentences mm -hmm. so this was the only three rules that i had followed very very good I, I would say this is the magic mantra and this i also suggest to every aspirant that keep things things simple frame simple sentences it should be lucid and one more point he has added that is very important i also say that a organic linkage should be between the points, right? It yes. should not be random. You are writing first line something, second line something, but a link should be there, there between the terms. Yes, sir. Right. So this you need to practice. The technical aspect is very important in this examination. You, you cannot just bet on the uh, content part of your answer. So technical part is very important as mentioned by Pawan as well. Uh, my next question to you would be Pawan. Mm. Yes, sir. Suggestion on word limit. This is also a burning question among the aspirants. I have to complete 400 word. I have to complete 600 word. Uh, how did you uh, manage this one? Uh, had you written 400, 600 words for the, all the answers? Uh, no, sir. Uh, for for the first three answers, I used to reach the word limit. Hmm. And the last answer, I could not reach the word limit. Okay. Um, but... Uh, for first a few minutes i used to uh, spend for the brainstorming Good. so it helped me mm -hmm. uh, if for the first two questions i used to uh, do the brainstorming and next two questions will come automatically because uh, we uh, write those uh, those um, uh, answers mm -hmm. and i used to uh, do first the mandatory question first sir. then right, right. And then other uh, other one but i did not uh, reach the word limit for uh, all the all of them but three of them out of four so had you written the answer in points or paragraphs uh for the disadvantages and disadvantages questions i used mm -hmm. to uh, write in points mm -hmm. uh, for others i used to in uh, in paragraphs used to write in paragraphs so one more question what aspirants ask for when they uh, go for the descriptive question uh, yes, they say that when they see the question, it doesn't, it didn't strikes their mind that what, from where to start, how to attempt, how to write the answer, uh, yes. right? They are not getting a proper direction, how they should approach for the question. So can you give some insights on this? What should be their approach? Uh, the practice is the only thing because uh, if we uh, give a question to write on by uh, writing in hand, we, mm -hmm. we naturally do that. Right. But uh, when we see in the computer, it uh, the brain structs, so it uh, doesn't work. So we we had to practice in computer writing. Mm. 
by referring some materials and uh, by uh, doing one and one sessions with uh, some other aspirant. Mm -hmm. I, I used to the, do that for uh, the SEBI uh, examination. Mm -hmm. So I had a friend uh, who had, uh, we had a daily target of uh, reaching the things. Like uh, we mandatorily did uh, the things for 30 days. So it mm -hmm. helped me. Right, right. Uh, and one more thing you're mentioning that is brainstorming you used to do when you, when yes. you started. So I think yes. that's also important that gives a direction to the people yes. that what they will write in introduction body. This is Definitely. very good. This is very good point. And this, I think everybody should at least invest one to two time understanding yes. the concept of the question, what context you have to justify, right? Yes, and as per that, you can move. So this is a very yes. good point given by Pawan. And I think everybody should inculcate this in your in, in their descriptive writing practice. Yes. Okay. My next question to, to Pawan. Yeah, message to aspirants who are afraid of this descriptive paper. This year also many are uh, calling me, many are messaging me. Uh, sir, what to do for this uh, descriptive? I am afraid of this. I am an IBPS aspirant. I do not have idea. So what message would you like to give such aspirants? The message is clear, sir. Uh, in this the competition, we had to, if you want to clear, we had to practice. And uh, uh, we used to neglect the descriptive part always. I also did uh, that uh, some to some extent. I had uh, both of the papers for uh, uh, grade A and grade B. Yes, yes, yes. Comparatively, uh, for grade B, I did well uh, in my mind. I think mm. I, I did well for grade B because mm. I had a paper on grade, grade A paper first day. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if I had practiced uh, uh, some more, then I had my grade A will also be better. Mm. Even right. though I had qualified, I may mm. had uh, get good marks. Right, right, right. So, so uh, um, I uh, overconfidence is also not good. Not good. right. right. We so, have to practice. We practice. have to be down to earth. Right. Every right, time. Right. Every time. And that that reflects in his words also when he's giving this uh, session also. Uh, you can judge by his responses only how is down to earth uh, after qualifying the examination also. You don't should not be overconfident. You should always be down to earth and you should always practice. Practice is the key yes. for everything, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, so my next question to Pawan would be, this is my last question, Pawan. I don't, uh, I would not take a lot of time. Yes, the English. See, this is also an important topic because it carries a uh, hundred marks as well in the examination. And yes, most sir. of the aspirants starts thinking about English after the phase one is over. And yes. I have seen that many aspirants uh, could not get into the select list due to English. So, yes. any message from your side? What should be done for this? Uh, I felt the in English descriptive very easy this time mm -hmm. because uh, I just followed the simple uh, structure, the simple rules. Mm -hmm. I did not forget the rules. Right. I did not bother about the content, but uh, it was technical thing. You, the content was good. Hmm. Uh, that's the other matter but uh, the rules uh, we have to follow it is a technical descriptive we just right. have to keep in mind right 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 uh, so it, it felt uh, very easy for me just three questions in one hour mm -hmm. comparatively the descriptive that we had to uh, type 600 400 words mm -hmm. right and this time i think english paper was quite easy compared to yes, the sir. last year because yes, sir, yes. the pressy was not there this time Yes, sir. And I was uh, um, uh, introduced with the, um, um, the uh, screen. Mm -hmm. So uh, last year I had faced the issue with the screen. And mm -hmm. this year uh, I used to know the, the screen is this. And I had to adapt for that. Mm -hmm. I, I cannot complain, but I had to adapt for uh, the Right, thing. right, right, right. This is very important. See, again, the message is very clear from Pawan that Keep the things simple in English as well. He said that he didn't bother so much about the content part, but he kept whatever he has written, he has tried to keep that one app, right? He didn't commit yes. a lot of technical mistake. I, I think he he will be getting good marks in English when the uh, marks will be out. I will definitely share his marks. And I think, Pavan, you will be getting good marks in English. I, I always say about this. And you 
always remember this rule as well that keep it simple this is the important message to all the new aspirants who are watching this video that in english or if you're writing technical descriptive as well don't use complex sentences do not write lengthy sentences keep the things simple you will get good marks right paul yes sir okay so any three things would you like to suggest to the new aspirants who are beginning for this this year's nabat 2022 three things they should not commit now first one is consistency is the key and uh, you should not uh, get disheartened by one failure two failure mm. Uh, mm. i i uh, uh, used uh, i used five years uh, to get uh, in this stage right i spent five years sir Mm -hmm. and uh, in in the in the way i had uh, also got uh, many um, failures also right but i had to um, we had to move on so in the last uh, stage of uh, 30 years uh, i had uh, qualified this and i'm very happy for that happy. see what pavan is saying consistency just i will give one example pavan uh, i have my mobile with in my hand and uh, see how consistent pavan you were from the last year only continuously he has messaged me every morning he used to wake up and he used to message me good morning and he used to start practicing so this shows the importance of consistency what pavan is saying so that's very important to all the aspirants uh, practicing yes pavan yes sir and uh, in the interview stage uh, when i had uh, uh, taken a uh, mock uh, with you sir uh, for the da finalists and you told me one thing that uh, many good uh, aspirants uh, who are uh, uh, working hard uh, did not qualify and you got chance and you had to use that mm. at that time i was uh, uh, like uh, uh, i qualified mains and uh, just interview i can do but that message uh, wakened me uh, like uh, i had to be serious and uh, even though it is last stage i had to do well so right. the mentor is very important right. the mentor uh, like he, uh, uh, he 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 used to awaken us uh, when we uh, when we move away from the path so that's very important right uh, right i am right. very i am very lucky in this regard because for the two years you had mentor thank you thank you pavan for the gesture see one more message what pavan has given See, Pawan. Uh, many aspirants they contact me, sir. This is my last chance. I am twenty nine years. Uh, I will be thirty years. I am twenty eight. They do not give preference to the older candidates. They only prefer young, fresh bloods. They only prefer freshers who have just graduated. I think this is a myth. This is a misconception. Yes, sir. So you have qualified other candidates as well. I was interviewing last day. uh they are also in the last of their attempt they also qualified so i think if you have written well examination if you have given right mock uh, interview i think definitely they will call you yes, sir and uh, we, we, sh we should not uh, worry about uh, this is my last attempt this time i did not worry about it at all mm -hmm. last year i used to worry uh, even only one year i had got i had qualify i must qualify mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but this year i was uh, cool uh, like uh, whatever happens 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 right 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 so that's also important your mind should be free yes. right and you should yes. not think too much think uh, take things lightly that's important yes sir okay okay thank you pavan thanks thank a lot you, for sharing your valuable inputs to the upcoming uh, students aspirants who will be preparing for this year thanks thanks a lot pavan thank you lots